I find myself picking up pieces of, of wood. Those things tell a story and I enjoy the challenge of working on that piece of plywood with chunks missing um, and it has challenges. It, it, it demands more of me. The size of my work, the physical presence is important as well because it's not it's not something in a frame that you can corner and you can control. Uh, my work is, is bigger, uh, it's in a strange format. I like the fact that it can't be framed, it can't be contained and, and the, the worn out pieces of wood that have got they wobble or they got knot holes. It's, there's, there's something intrinsically beautiful about it. I've been playing with the idea of having art as a sideshow. Everything gets wheeled in. They, they get there and people wake up one morning and the, the sideshow has come to town. So they, I wanted to get, give the idea that they are well travelled and, and pretty worn. And they all have some kind of statement. They make a claim, uh, holy water. And then of course all the obligatory uh, flourishy, um, show um work that one would find on a, on a wagon to give it that credibility as a, as a decent sideshow attraction. This one is, uh, is a nude, but I like the idea and the, the fact that it's, it's split along the middle and it's not quite lined up. Um, the idea that it's travelled around a lot and been repaired and put back together again and um, almost like the the magician who saws the lady in half. I love seeing old rusty metal and, and peeling paint and it fits into the idea of a sideshow so well because it, it's something that would wear and you know there'd be layers of paint that peel off showing previous colors underneath and I wanted that slightly sordid um, tacky uh, feel to, to all of it yet uh, balanced with um, what I hope is, is fairly refined painting so that it looks realistic and the contrast between those two. In this strange carnival of fake and, and spurious claims that, uh, that the snake oil salesmen make, um, you, would, you would go out and you would buy uh, a master's hand and it would, it would make your life more perfect. A lot of what I do revolves around these ideas of hokum, of skullduggery and, uh, and that kind of thing that, that people mislead. Uh, you, and we, we tend to buy into it. As, as artists we are very often approached by public galleries or wherever and you they're having an exhibition maybe on landscapes or still lives or flower, flowers or something and then you pack up your, your artwork and you send it off and in essence that's what we become. We become the, the traveling sideshow, the carny people. Everything is, is invented and maybe uh, in another 20 years time I'll have figured out exactly how I go about what I do.